Okay, so try number this many. Try number this many. We're gonna make this this recording work. This is not nearly as funny to you as it is to me, but that's okay. Th this is honestly the fifth try I've had trying to record this video because the camera died and well, I used the phone first, but the phone died and then the camera died. It's it's ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. Trying this again. So. This is the um, Pip-Boy case, which I got through Scruffy Studios with all sorts of little extra handy tidbits, like uh, the, the little um, LED cases right here, which zoom in a little bit here. Uh, these just pop right out and, well, probably get lost because I only have one hand to work with. Ah! Okay. So, they just pop right out. Um, you fit the little LED dude in there. Makes the little case glow, so you don't need to buy a specific colored LED. It actually also came with some LEDs to go with it, so that's handy. Um, all you had to do was actually drill out the hole to put it in, which was probably a lot easier than I expected, actually. Um, so yeah, those are all just sitting there. Um, that was a fun part of the dremeling. I actually drilled those out and then dremeled. Um, you can see I've painted the inside here. I painted the inside of this before doing any of the dremel work so I could see where I had done, where I hadn't done. A lot easier. You can see I actually uh, skipped a few times, but that's okay. Um, so, uh, there's this groove back here. It's actually very deep, um, which if you look at the other side, see, it's, it's right there. Still right there. That's the outside casing. It's right... I'm pinching my two fingers together, so that that's that's right where it is, um, right in there. It would be really awesome if I could have made it into this part because then I could have drilled a little bit deeper, but such is life. The reason I need to drill that part. Other side. Okay. This little thing. This spot here is where. Um, this dude goes. This is the USB power plug that I'll be um, using to run the actual Pi. So I can't tell which way up this goes. Um, around a camera. Okay. So yeah. There. That's how far it sticks out from the edge of the case. So I had to make it so that it would actually have a space to go because basically once this is all in here the pie is almost flush up against this edge it's you know a quote a perfect size unless you need to power it um so that's ooh, glare um that's that's what this part is drilled out for what i'm going to need to do um is take that little plug there and solder on some wires again to uh, actually have them come out at this angle straight straight towards um, the screen towards you guys um, because there's no room for them to go that way so it, it's it's very messy in that respect because there's just honestly not enough room to play with but it's the option literally the option um, so I took a spare cable, actually I bought one I think for two, three bucks. You could probably just buy this little thing on its own, um, but I didn't realize it was going to be such a tight fit. I thought it was going to be on a different side and that I'd have room to play with, and I was wrong. The end. So, um, yeah, I just took a cable, stripped it down. Hopefully this will refocus enough that you can actually, uh, no? 
No, you're not gonna refocus. Maybe. Okay, a little bit. Um, you can see the connectors on there, right above my my thumbnail is one of them. There's two on each side. Um, more than you ever wanted to know about USB cables, volume six. Um, two of these are for data and two of these are for power. That's how most USB cables go from what I can tell, which is why you can plug these in to your phone and either connect them to your laptop to move you know, various files, photos, etc. Or you can plug them into the wall to charge them up. Um, so I really only need to solder two of them. I don't offhand remember which two, but it would be really nice if it was the two that would be facing uh, this direction instead of this direction because uh, not a whole lot of room to play with in there. Uh, when I've got this all in there, it, it's it's right at the edge. And I mean, it's tiny, sure, you know, bottle cap for size reference, etc. But th there's still just not enough room to play with. So I'm going to pause this for a minute so that I can take this stuff apart for you and actually show you what it looks like in there. So please hold. Okay. I think we're good to go now. Um, so I slightly lied. I'm not going to be taking the actual pie out of this case because um, I forgot there's little clips that actually hold it in place and I, I just don't want to deal with those. So um, that's the pie. Um, that's about as far as we're going with that. Um, this row of pins here is what you use to connect in. All sorts of fun things. In this case, we're using it for this. Um, they line up with this pile of uh, plugs. I'm not very good with technical terms, sorry. Um, I know what I'm doing, I just can't tell you any of it. Um, so why am I trying? I don't know. But So this plugs directly onto here. You just... You know, I'm trying to do this one-handed, sorry. Um, you just line them all up so that it's at this end. You plug it in. It'll just sit on there about like that, except actually plugged. So not going to do that because I just spent all that time undoing that. It actually comes right off. It's it's pretty easy. Um, it, it will hold in place, so that's that's not an issue. Um, but it does take two hands to take the thing back off. So um, I got this through Adafruit. It, here we go. Oh, that's so handy. Um, it's a three and a half inch display. Uh, 320 by 480 pixels, 16 bit color, resistive touch screen, which means um, there's there's two kinds of touch screens that you could get. There's resistive and there's capacitive. And resistive, you actually have to, you know, push onto the screen. Um, your cell phone is going to be a capacitive screen. You just kind of do the things. Um, with this guy, you're going to actually have to push down a little bit. More time blur notifications. Um, so I went with that just because it was a, what was available. Um, I wouldn't really have a problem with a capacitive touchscreen, of course. Um, it's going to cost more, but um, this was actually, I think, 45 bucks, which is $5.00 cheaper than the actual Raspberry Pi, which just makes me giggle, but, um, so, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not a plug-and-play board. Um, you do actually have to install an image onto your, uh, Raspberry Pi's hard drive, which is a little, um, SD card you have to buy. I went with a, a 64 gig just so that I'd you know, absolutely positively have room for anything I could ever want. Um, you could get away with a 16, I'm sure, but I wanted to have lots of extra room because I might 
build a camera into this thing at some point because that that idea just amuses me taking selfies with a pit boy I, I i can't get over how funny that is um so yeah other than that um there there actually is a, a one of these two little spots here is where you would plug in for a camera it is the pi is designed to support a camera which is cool You've got an HDMI port here, too, if you want to plug into a larger screen randomly for whatever reason. Over here is your, um, this, this guy is your power. Hopefully this will stay somewhat in focus. Um, you've got lots of USB ports. You've got internet. I'm almost positive there's something you can plug into this to get Wi-Fi on it that will fit inside here under the screen. Sorry, this camera has a huge lens. Um, but I, I don't have it. I'm not going to use it. Um, you can plug in GPS stuff if you really want to do that, too. That'd be nifty, but it all takes up space, and I, I don't have any. Um, so, I'm going to take this, and we're going to put it all back together now. Which is really not proving to be very easy to do one-handed. Yeah, okay. So, pretty sure that's on there, right? Oh no, it came off! There. Okay. See how easy that was? That was one-handed. Okay, so. And it's, ta-da, it's on there. Um, let just put this that way for a moment. Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave the, the SD card out because we don't really need it in there. Um, so, next, we're going to uh, borrow my PS3 controller and take this. And we're going to actually put my little contraption here inside the pit boy case so you can see where it's going to fit. Um, remember, this is the power plug right here, and it sits this way. Uh, this is going to be the right way up when it when it boots. Um, so, set that in there. I've done a lot of Dremel tool work to make this fit. You can see it's pretty freaking tight. Um, I drilled out um, the vent on the side of the pit boy that's next to your wrist even though you don't need to I just wanted to do it so that there'd be a little bit extra airflow in there for this poor thing um, over here is where the other speaker grill is uh, next to the scrolly wheel and under the Geiger counter um, I'll be drilling that out as an actual speaker grill and putting a speaker there so that I can run sounds off this and I'll also be connecting it to a iPod in the hand plate, hand guard, whatever it is, um, that I'll be using to run either, you know, um, Radio New Vegas or the soundtrack, maybe GNR too, because I like GNR, why not? Um, but that will keep the um, the Raspberry Pi from constantly running music, so it'll take less battery, which is good because battery, as you can see, is really not going to fit anywhere in this. Um, you know, if I if I put my teeny tiny arm here, you know, it's that's that's all there is. There's no more room. We're we're done. Um, this is almost flat. This this is not uncomfortable actually, that little little lip. Um, you can see I've got all sorts of nasty green foam here um, that makes it actually stay on my teeny tiny arms. Um, I forget what we found this in, but this, this is just scrap stuff that I glued in place. I might replace it with something else. Don't know. Um, the Velcro is terrible. Don't use Velcro. It really doesn't work once you actually have any weight in this thing. And the cast is pretty heavy as is. Um, 
Well, for Velcro, that is. I mean, the Velcro is um, off. I mean, that, that should have been up in here. See? Yeah. So, Velcro, bad idea. Works great if you glue the Velcro shut, but that's not really how that's supposed to work. So, um, if we hold on to this and I stop rambling. Okay. Hi, that's my camera. Um, you can see it's not a perfect fit, but it's pretty much as perfect as it's going to get. Um, basically what I'm going to do around these edges in here is um, I'm going to put some rubber or something along there to hide all of those loose edges, but it's, it's a really pretty good fit. So um, I think I think when I measured it out, the space for the screen is 3.8 inches, and this actual screen is 3.5 inches. So that's that's as close as you're getting. Um, obviously, you don't want to go any bigger. Um, the, there's there's no room. I don't even know how I'm gonna hold this down yet. I might install some sort of um, some Velcro. That would be a good use for Velcro. Um, maybe some little straps or something to just belt it down. I really don't know yet. I haven't decided, but, oh. Uh, um, and again, that groove back there, which is a little hard to see, but that groove there is where that guy is going to go. It's going to be just the little, the little black end there, um, that's going to be sticking out and the wires, there we go. Um, the end of this guy, all the silver part is plugged in, so really only a tiny bit sticks out, but there's just so little room in here to work with, you know, it's, it's small. Um, okay, I'm going to stop rambling now. So, hopefully this gave you some ideas of the space available, um, yeah. Thanks for following me, paying attention to all this stuff, dealing with my constant rambling. All right, see you later, folks.